the Stars for this Furman team is out this afternoon with an injury. She's coming off a knee injury as well. They forced her to miss all of last season. And I'll tell you what, Kay Johnson, he's a junior. That was a pretty savvy move underneath. They have to find the shooters, find transition shots, get to the shooters early. But for Georgia Tech, playing aggressive D, Coach Fortner said this is the first time she's playing an aggressive man-to-man -man for most of the game a few times just, in my playing career. Twice, yeah, that that sure. happens to me still at home <laughs> when I just hit walls. But hurts that elbow but gets right back up for Georgia Tech. You're running into those walls while you're watching <laughs> ACC women's basketball on yeah. your phone. Is that what's happening? Yeah, not paying attention. <laughs> Tony Morgan, will she push pace? Kick out. Augusta Neta, a three-pointer. <laughs> She's got the celebration down bad. For Georgia Tech, something we haven't seen for them in quite some time, but the freshman can shoot with the best of them. And that shot a little too strong at the back iron there from Jada Session, junior from Locust Grove, just about 40 miles south here at McCamish Pavilion. And Tony Morgan, another quick bucket. Into the basket, but still able to score and finish. Tony Morgan is lights out when she gets in the lane. And she's doing the work on the glass as well. That should be before the game. <laughs> yeah, I did. You, you, Doritos. You and me both. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Nevaeh Henley, and her first shot won't fall. Furman is cold here from the start of 7 0 run for Georgia Tech. Morgan up and under, a little jelly on that slice of toast. James lets it fly. And there's a second chance opportunity in the scoop and score from Jada Session. Uh, Tony Morgan, it got her off her game a little bit, and I think that was a big reason she missed that layup. Hang at the free throw line, too strong. Furman just can't buy him. And this around, Morgan crossover. Get a ball moving for Jackets. And Augusta. And you see right here on this play, we talked about the ball distribution, but a nice pass. 24 assists for Georgia Tech in that last game against Coastal Carolina Monday, and they're continuing to trend this afternoon with the passing. Oh, that's just how it's going for Furman right now. They do get the stick back there from Katie Johnson. Petra asking, what more does she have to do to get that ball to go down? Right, it seems like it's a lid on that rim right now for Furman. Goes to Nate, that won't roll in. And Furman just unable to get a paint touch here in this possession. Under 10 seconds to shoot. This time Session takes it in herself. What a spin and the bucket. And that's a good. And Morgan looping around in and out of the paint. Carter, a pump fake behind the back crossover. And what a move from Amiens Carter. The trait he learned or his experience as a player and coach into this team in his first year. At the end of the shot clock, Sidney Johnson with the ice. Well, he felt like the game was a little more pure, a little more X's and O's driven, and, you know, really fell in love with it working for Coach Brooks or learning from Coach Brooks and working for Coach Carson. Johnson, the rebound. Ooh, good deep pass and an easy two. Henley. Has it jarred loose, Carter with it. Looking for somebody that she can pass it off to. Out to Johnson. Fed down low, the extra pass, Blackshear, beautiful. For Georgia Tech, and it's a solid passer. And she's double teamed Kate Johnson's late. Furman without their top player in Tate Walters today. Ooh, around the back feed and a block from behind, Tony Morgan. Where did she come from? I mean, you just see right here, great penetration by Henley with the pass. Morgan curling in, kicking out, Carter, count it. Well, that's the way to get you out of the zone. Johnson cutting across into the paint, they get it down to her, contested by Carter. Three seconds, rising, hitting, and count the basket. Should go to the line for another. Confirming this afternoon against Carter, one-on-one, -on -one and does a great job, Liz Kitley for ACC Player of the Year. Yeah, Georgia Tech will host Notre Dame right here on this floor, February 1st. That'll be a big night. First possession for the Yellow Jackets in the second half. Getting re rebounder, and what about this steal she has off the inbounds, and she wins the foot race against Jada Session. And she's an athlete, not a true center for any team, just a lot of speed and quickness. And I think that's what you can expect. Is, oh, and there's Noredo. This one, and extending their lead right now with the Euro step. Oh, shimmy. I'm telling you, the sophomore, that was a move quite in the first half, but she's starting to make some noise. 
Swatted away on the back end. Here come the Yellow Jackets looking to really blow it open here. Morgan high scoop with a left. And then, like you said, the key word, the depth. She's able to do it because she has a deeper roster to bring fresh bodies in and out, to play fast pace and, you know, can give up some fouls here or there because she has the talent on the bench to bring into the game. She and Kate Johnson have scored 21 of Furman's 23 points. Adonaz. Oh. For Termis to get her feet set and then pass the ball, had her in great positioning for that jump shot. They both played on the Spanish national team back in their home country. Laredo dials up a three and buries it. 0 for 13 from the floor, and finally she gets one to drop. Yeah, it was a sigh of relief. And Terminus, she's not going to miss from that closer range. And she makes the right decision with the pass to Terminus. Session pops a three and drills it. Finally, Furman on their 11th attempt <laughs> connects from deep. Well, sometimes all you need is one. Maybe this will get them hot, but now it looks like a three-point barrage. Carter, a little floater pass down to Thomas Harris. The freshman hoists it high and she gets the roll. I mean, she's confident to the talent level of playing collegiate basketball. And she's just being her. See if Herman can capitalize off the turnover. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. And a free giveaway. Noreto wide open lane. And easy to. Defense trying to press to see if they can get another steal. Over three minutes without a bucket. For Furman. Scratch that. Nevea Henley deposits a three. And their win over UNC Asheville. That wasn't shot by Tate Walter. She had three of the four makes. Henley had the other. Elbow jumper. True. Line jump shot. And that's something that you have to have in your arsenal, especially in ACC play. It's Good. not a game of banging anymore. Nope. Long three. Oh, and it swirls home. Cindy Ryan. <laughs> wow. Yellow Jackets ahead by 27, 10 minutes to play. The Sydney Ryan showcasing some range. Formated and with a lot of youth that's on this squad for Georgia Tech, they needed and transfers. They needed some time to get adjusted with this offense. Yeah, and in some ways, as Blackshear picks up another easy couple. ACC is about. You have to have the half court set in your offense with the good teams. But at the end of the day, to score points and to get the majority of them, you got to. That's the freshman, Jada Bediaco, collecting the rebound, making her first appearance on the floor this afternoon. Augusta Nete falling oh, away. Oh, man. And she did that exactly right. Almost hit that baseline, but did not a bounds. Kelia looking for a little give and go, perhaps. And it changed. Nice Great fine pass. Jada session. That's a fine assist. Still some work to do, but in their first two games, Georgia Tech has been impressive at home. They've had some active hands and passing lanes. Carter ahead to Morgan. Another two, and she'll have a chance for three. Finishing. She can out run with her speed, her defender each time. You see, she was behind Carter, runs past her to collect the pass. Look at that. They were able to defend. They just couldn't score the basketball. And it came down to shooting, too. They had the worst field goal percentage in the ACC, worst three-point percentage in the ACC. Yeah, because you have a higher percentage of scoring the basketball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice move, Thomas Harris. Not a fun project trying to slow her down. Ryan Cash, Sydney Ryan. Herman now four for 20. Yeah, on the arc, but they've hit three here in the second half. Johnson got it. Ryan, not that hot. And you also like it because they're still sharing the basketball. Right now, 20 assists in this game, 24 in their first game. Ooh. Oh, Sidney Johnson. Wide open, and Jada Biniaco will cut the shot clock here with 15 seconds left. Knock loose, DeAsia Thomas Harris, 
the finish. Yes. Well, Georgia Tech began the day with two shoes. Only one left. They got two wins. <laughs>